Aloha. Thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be a functional strength video. Everything is going to be body weight. You can do it at home. You just need about a yoga mat's worth of space. Before we get started, we're going to do two rounds of what is called the Wim Hof breath work. Um, it's an ancient practice, also called Tumo breathing. <clears throat> and basically all we're going to do is take in really full breaths, like maxing it out as deep as we can in through the nose, letting it go 90%. And when we breathe, we're going to breathe into the diaphragm. That's the lower part of the belly right here. So I'll turn to the side. So you'll see when you breathe in, it should look like that. And when you breathe out, you should expand down. Okay. So when we breathe in belly out, when we breathe out belly in. Okay. So we're going to do 30 to 40 breaths, maximum inhale. So taking in as much air as possible and then releasing about 85 to 90% of that air. We're not doing a, a really hard exhale. We're doing a really maxed in inhale and then just letting it go softly on the exhale. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate. And you'll notice I kind of over exaggerate on purpose because I really want you to take in as much air as possible when you breathe in. That's a big part of this, as much air in, 90% out. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate three breaths right here. So fully in. Okay, and you'll notice one thing I did was I didn't pause. So when I reach my max inhale, that's when I start to exhale. And when I reach that 90% out, that's when I start to inhale. So the breath is circular, no pausing, okay? It's not linear, it's circular, okay? So all the way in, 90% out. All the way in, 90% out, okay? This breathing is gonna be beneficial for your cardiovascular system. The breath work during the practice induces your sympathetic system. Okay, that's our go and flow. And then what we're gonna do at the end of the 30 to 40 breaths, we're gonna exhale and hold, okay? So different than when you go swimming, right? Before you jump in water, you take that breath in, you hold it, okay? We're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna let out 85% and hold after doing all those breaths, okay? And you're gonna be able to hold your breath longer than what you normally can because we're very oxygenated. During this process, because we become so alkaline or oxygenated, we actually become more alkaline, okay? And we can actually become so alkaline at 7.75 pH that we can literally turn off pain receptors in the brain. And this breath work has been shown to induce 100% neural activity, okay? There's studies that say like 16 to 20% of our brain is only being used now. Maybe we should tap into all of that, right? And so we're gonna tap into 100% neural activity we're gonna induce norepinephrine, also referred to as adrenaline, and we're gonna be able to focus, we're gonna be able to center ourselves, and we're gonna actually feel better through breathing. Okay, so this first round, 30 to 40 breaths, I'll lead it, so just breathe with me, and at the end, we're gonna exhale and hold, and we're gonna hold it for one minute, okay? And I'll, I'll guide you through it. So I want you to get comfortable, I want you to make sure you do this safely, I want you to make sure you're doing it sitting down or laying down. Laying down is totally safe as well. Never do this while standing up. Never do this while driving. So when you're comfortable, we're going to start with an inhale in three, two, one. Full breath in. Let it go. Full breath in. Let it go. Fully in. Let it go. Fully in, let it go, keep going.
You're doing great. We're over halfway there. Keep going. Fully in. Let it go. Fully in. Let it go. Good, three more as deep as you can. And when you're ready, take your last inhale in. Let it go, 85% and then hold. And we're gonna hold for one minute, okay? So feel your body. Feel that tingling, that warmth. Could even feel lightheaded if it's your first time. Don't worry, that's all completely normal. And just sit with yourself. Feel what it feels like to be in your body. Feel what it feels like to be you. That's 40 seconds. And if you need to breathe before that one minute, you're gonna take a full breath in, as full as you can, and then hold it. But we got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Full breath in. Hold. Let it go. Good, so that's your first round. Second round, we'll begin in five, four, three, two, one. Fully in, let it go. Fully in, let it go. Full breath, letting go, keep going. Almost there. Three more. When you're ready, take your last inhale in. Same thing, let it go. 85% and hold. We're gonna hold for a minute and 15 seconds on this one.
Witness the power, witness the energy already inside of your body. Feel what it feels like to be you. Feel what it feels like to be strong. Feel what it feels like to be healthy. Feel what it feels like to be happy. You're at 50 seconds. Good, that's one minute. 15 more seconds. Fully in. Hold. Good, let it go. Good, there are numerous benefits to those breathing exercises. They improve our cardiovascular system. So the breathing induces vasodilation. That's an opening of the capillaries and arteries and veins. So they're getting a pump and an opening. And then when we exhale and hold, we get vasoconstriction, which is the closing, okay? And when we also exhale and hold, we induce or we trigger our parasympathetic system, which is our rest and digest. So during that, our heart rate really drops. This is all very good for our body. It's like we're the alchemist, we're the chemistry, and we're able to induce good feelings through that. Okay, so very good job. And now we're gonna get into our functional strength routine. Okay, our first one is going to be sumo squats. So for this first round, we're gonna do each one for four, each exercise for 45 seconds, and we're gonna go back to back to back. So just stay with it. If you need to take a break, pause, catch your breath, take slow, deep inhales, slow, deep exhales. Light, slow, deep breathing is our motto. Slow it down by slow exhales, and then get back into it. Okay, so for these exercises, 45 seconds, Back to back to back. After the first round, we'll take a little break and we'll jump back into it. First exercise is a sumo squat, okay? Your feet are a little wider than your shoulders and you're going about 45 degrees out with the toes. So my feet are pointed <clears throat> out in each direction and we're bringing our butt as low as we can and then back up, okay? So very simple. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. So squatting down and up, down and up. Okay, simple movement. Just dropping the hips, dropping the butt. You can put the hands behind the head. You can put the hands out to the side. You can put the hands out front. I want you to keep good posture in your back. Just keeping the chest up. Breathing in and out through the nose. Good warm up, getting that lower body activated. Five seconds. And good. Our next one is a lateral lunge, okay? So now we're going wide. So legs spread apart. And you're gonna move from one side, okay, to the other side, shifting back and forth, okay? 45 seconds, here we go. So to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. So we're opening up our hips, right? You can see it, you can feel it. Basic side to side movement. It's 
pelvic lateral movement. Getting that hip joint moved, getting fluid into the joints, synovial fluid. It's very important. It's like our lubricant. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good. That's our lateral lunge. Next one is our spider lunge with an instep. So in this one, you're going to be in a plank. Just like this, and you're going to step your right foot to your right hand. You're going to open up your right side, twisting the body, bringing that hand back down, stepping the right foot back, and then we do it with the left side. So left foot stepping up, opening up the left hand, twisting that body, getting a good stretch, and then back down. Okay? 45 seconds. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Start with the right. Open, back down, switch, left side, right side, left side, right side, left side. Right side, 10 more seconds. Left side, good. Last one. Back down. That is our spider launch with an instep twist, okay? And then jumping jacks. We'll start in three, two, one, right here. Very simple. Basic movement. Notice your breathing. I'm going to breathe light, slow, and deep. Even though we're voluntarily stressing our body, creating a positive stress response called eustress. Our body wants stress, it wants pressure. It rewards us for these workouts. Good, and that's it. So that's one round. We're gonna do two rounds of that. So another round of all those exercises. Give you 30 seconds, take a break. Take a slow breath in, let it go. Full breath in, let it go, slowly in, let it go, slowly in, let it go. Okay, we're back up, sumo squats in three, two, one, here we go, feet 45 degrees out, a little wider than the shoulder, dropping the butt and the hips. Keeping the back straight, good posture. Breathing in and out of the nose. The nose is so important to breathe through. It induces what's called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is basically a pre-workout. It induces that vasodilation, the opening of the veins, capillaries, and arteries that we all want. And people take artificial forms of nitric oxide pre-workouts are those. We can get that just through our own breath and our own movement. Five seconds. Last one. Very good. Good, our next one is that lateral lunge. So going a little wider. Side to side. Start in three, two, one. Going to the right, to the left. To the right, to the left, side to side. Find your range of motion, work into that, get into like a two or three out of 10 pain, okay? Soreness, whatever you want to call it, sensation. You want to work into that a little bit. So you want to get a little deeper 
than where it feels comfortable. Okay, get a little deeper than where it feels comfortable, but don't overdo it. So like a two or three, that's where we wanna live. Get that stretch, get that opening. Good, that's it. Our next one is our spider lunge with a twist. So we're in that plank. Start with the right in three, two, one. Here we go. Right side open, back down, left side, open, back down, right side, open, back down, left side, open, back down, keep going. Notice your breathing. Who's in control? Is it you or your breath? Good, last one. And back down. Then we'll end it with jumping jacks, okay? And begin. Ten more seconds. And complete. Great job, that's our warm up. So for the next part, we're gonna do two exercises. One is called straight leg scissor legs, it's an ab routine. And the next one is jump squats touching the floor and jumping up. Very simple exercise. We're gonna do each of them 20 times and we're gonna do it three times, okay? So this is gonna be the burner of it. So our workout's gonna get progressively. This is like, we're getting to the top. We're, we're gonna hit our peak here. And then once we finish these two exercises, we'll ease it back down, okay? So give it all you can, do your best. If you need to take a break, take a break. But I encourage you to give full effort and yeah, just know it's temporary and your body will thank you. We're doing this to get stronger. Never do this to the point where you injure yourself. Like I said, we do want that two or three sensation feeling. Like you wanna get uncomfortable. You have to get a little uncomfortable in order to see progress, but don't overdo it. So like out of one to 10, we're working in a two to three, right? Doesn't have to be crazy intense but you gotta get a little uncomfortable at two or three zone, okay? So our first one is straight leg, scissor legs. <clears throat> so we're on our backs. You're gonna have both your legs straight out, six inches off the floor. You're gonna lift your right leg straight up to 90 degrees and then switch, switch. Okay, we're gonna do this for 20. So here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Now we're up on our feet. Jump squats. Very basic. I want you to touch the floor, so your feet are shoulder hip width apart, touching the floor, jumping up, okay? 20 times, doesn't have to be super high. If jumping for you is just getting up on your toes, do it. If you can get six inches off the floor, do it. Just do what you can, okay? Touch the floor, jumping up. So down, up, down, up, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Check your breath. Heart rate's up, it's okay. You wanna take in a light, slow, deep breath into the belly. Gently back out. Into the belly. Slowly back out. 15 more seconds. And then we're going back into scissor legs. Slow down the heart rate with slow exhales. Okay? We're in control. Okay, back to our scissor legs. Legs out, right leg up, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. Jump squats. Getting right into it. Okay. Down and up. So I want you to keep good posture on this too. So I don't want you hunching over to touch the floor. I want you to drop your ass, drop your hips. Keep your back straight. So here we go. Down, up, down, up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Good job. Okay, take a quick break. Breathe in, through the nose, exhale through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Slow it down. It's all temporary. Into the belly. So when you breathe in, watch that belly expand. When you breathe out, watch the belly go in. Okay, we're back on our backs. This is our last set already. 20 scissor legs, 20 jump squats, legs out. Right foot up, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. We're up into jump squats. Last one. Give it all you got. We want that burn. That pump is good. Nothing over a three, okay? Let's go for it. Three, two, one, to the floor. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Breathe in, full breath. Let it go. Breathe in, full breath. Let it go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, this next one. Very simple. Two minutes of jump roping. I'm not gonna have a jump rope with me. I'm just gonna mimic the rope going around. And we're just gonna hop for two minutes straight. Very simple. It's a good opportunity to check in with your body, check in with your breath while we do this. Two minutes isn't very long. Just stick with it. Get over the rope mentally. Get over the rope mentally, okay? 
That's what we're doing. This is for mental strength. We're making our minds stronger through our bodies. We're making our body stronger through our mind. It's all one, okay? So two minutes. Start in five seconds. Three, two, one. Jump rope. Small hops, nothing crazy. Let's get over the rope. Give thanks for your body. Give thanks for your feet. A quarter of the bones in your body are just located in your feet. Each one has 26 bones. Tons of muscles and ligaments. And they're very valuable. They literally hold us up. Give thanks for your calves, your tibialis muscle, your quads, your hamstrings. Your VMO, give thanks for your knees, give thanks for your hips. I've already had so many knee surgeries in my life. But when I started being grateful for my knees, is when I started actually figuring out my knees. So we can turn our weaknesses into strengths. Thirty more seconds. Stay with it. Get your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Ten more seconds. Three. Two, one. <sighs> Two minutes of jump roping. We love it. So, so far we've done a lot of lower body. Now we're gonna go into a push-up circuit. Our first push-up is gonna be a pike push-up. Okay, so with this, you're gonna be down on the floor. You're gonna be back in a plank position. Okay, so we're here. And then what we're gonna do is walk our feet up so that our hips come up. And we're almost pressing like into um, downward facing up. So we're here. And then we're gonna do a push up. So bring our face in between our hands, back up. Face in between our hands, back up. You notice the whole time I'll keep my butt hips up. And this is allowing us to get more of a shoulder press into this than a regular push-up. Okay? So we're going to do 10. So when you're ready, begin. Down, up. Down, up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, and 10. Very good. Our next one is going to be, <clears throat> I hope y'all are sweating like I am, feels good. Our next one is gonna be inchworm to push up. <clears throat> so for this one, inchworm, it's very basic. If you're doing a hamstring stretch essentially, so bending forward, folding in half, and then you walk out your hands, do a push-up, and then you walk back to your feet. You don't have to stand up, you can stay low, come back into that hamstring stretch, walk it out, push-up. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of them. So here we go, walk it out, push-up, one, back, walk it out, two, Walk it out. Three. Walk it out. Four. Walk it back. 
walk it out. Five, walk it back. Keep going. Find your rhythm, find your pace. Six. Keep good form. Seven. Remember to breathe. Eight. Walk it out. Nine. One more. And ten. Very good. One more push up. Our last one is going to be diamond push up. So you're going to make a diamond with your hands, like this. Okay? We're going to have that diamond directly underneath our chest. And we're doing 10 push ups from there. If you can't do these, do them on your knees, like this. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. If you can do them in a, in a push up style, you're getting up in a plank. Okay, we're going down, up, down, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. One more round of all those, and that'll complete our workout. I hope this is helping you to become more aware of your body, more aware of your breath, and more aware of your mind. If you see weaknesses in what we've been doing, say these push-ups are really hard for you, or the squats are really hard for you, those weaknesses need to just be worked on, okay? You gotta polish it. And once you make those weaknesses into strengths, then they can't hurt you anymore. And it can be really hard on the ego to realize we're weak in areas. I've had multiple knee surgeries, like I mentioned. My knee was really weak. My hip mobility was really weak. My ankle mobility was really weak. That's why I led, it all led to an injury. So instead of avoiding these areas, we actually need to put our attention on these areas. We wanna make them strong. We don't, our weaknesses will never be a strength. And our strengths will never be a weakness, okay? So work on your weaknesses. That's how you get out of those imbalances. That's how you get out of weak wrists, weak knees, is by working on the area. Avoiding it leads to decay. Avoiding an area of the body leads to decay. If you don't use it, you lose it. It's actually that simple. So we wanna use the whole system here, okay? You get benefits from stress. The stress is positive. Life is very stressful. We can learn how to manage stress through breath and through movement, okay? That's all we're doing is managing stress right here. So we got one last round. We got the pike push-ups, we got the inchworm to push-up, and we got the diamonds. So we're gonna start with the pikes. So get into a plank, walk the feet towards the hands, get the butt up, 10 push-ups. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Okay, inchworm to push up. Our last one, let's just get into it. Walk it out, push up, walk it back. Walk it out, push up, walk it back. Walk it out, push up, walk it back. Keep going, you can do this. That's four. Five. Six. 
six. Seven. Notice your breath. In through the nose, out through the nose, into the belly. Eight. Just two more. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good job. So right in the diamonds. Again, make the diamond with the hand. So pointer finger to pointer finger, thumb to thumb, right in the middle of the chest. 10 push ups like this. Again, if you can't do them, do them from your knees. Do the best that you can, okay? Only you know. So here we go down, up, down, up. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay. So like when we started, we started with those deep breaths. Now we're gonna breathe in slowly. We're gonna do a four, four breathing exercise here. So we're gonna do inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna keep the rhythm just for two minutes. We're gonna slow that heart rate down. So we'll start with an inhale in three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. In, through the nose, to the belly. Four, out, slow. Three, four. In, slow. Three, four. Out, slow. Three, four. In, Slow, three, four, out, slow, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Pause for one second. Now we're gonna do a four, six. So it'll be inhale for four, exhale for six. So when you say inhale for four, I want you to breathe slowly into that top. And when I say out for six, slowly exhale for six. Don't just drop it all out and pause. No pausing, okay? So here we go. So in, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Out, slow, three, four, five, six, in, gentle, three, four, out, slow, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, slow, three, four, five, six, in, gentle, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. I hope this gives you more tools, more options, more opportunities to grow as a human. Use your breath, use your body, Use your mind, you can do amazing things, okay? We're all so powerful. And hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you for tuning in. Aloha.